Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to V-Rider Overview. For some reason I was always drawn to motorcycles in comparison to cars with vehicle options, mostly because it brings such a unique thrill that can be only experienced on such things, which will be interesting to see if the VR adaptation will fully reflect its true immersion powers. So V-Rider is a motorcycle racing simulator game where you'll be transported on the superbike tracks, feeling different kinds of sensation, driving a beast, and reach the highest virtual speed limits. Small prefix, I had to cut at least half of the trailer because it used some IRL footage mixed in with the actual game and it's a very shady to sell the project, but I just paid attention. We've had a couple bike games on the platform already, but nothing really officially licensed based, so it's gonna be either interesting to see the dynamic. Graphically it looks quite decent, there is a big discrepancy between the screenshots and the trailer, like completely two different projects. It kinda reminds me of the old Formula 1 games that might have been happening on the same tracks, that's why it feels kinda familiar, but as a concept it's fairly straightforward, like you have just racing motorbikes, competing with AI or online players, with a physics engine going on. Besides that, there is nothing really to expect nor to upgrade on, and to succeed, everything needs to be like highly polished. I'm curious to see how the environment change with such speeds, if the rendering will keep up with what's going on and won't get in my way during the gameplay. This might be a natural precursor to the car racing games and more licensed stuff in the future, which could be very much welcome, but as of now, let's focus on the bikes and the joy of riding them. Let's go to the gameplay! Oh, I have a helmet, okay. I did not think that might happen. I suppose I'll be holding the string wheel. Well, I don't get it, but okay. Yeah, I mean, that was a given. I was thinking mechanics would go in that direction. But then it's like... I'm confused if it will be actually steering or it's just movement based. I mean, I would like to grab them. We're going for a realistic approach. See if it's gonna be comfortable enough, but seems fine to me. I 
have a portable handkerchief or something. Okay, finally on track. <laughs> the ground is like flickering. Resolution. No, like I can kind of see stuff, but it's not enough for a high speed game that I will assume this is gonna be. It's intense! Yeah, I was playing it safe. Oh, it's like it trembles. It's a small windshield. A bit uncomfortable, but they gave me a bike for kids. I still would like to grab the handles. I don't know why we have those tasks, but... It doesn't break immediately. Just get me out of here already. do they do? I think everything is fine. I mean, maybe for recording purposes, we should take off the helmet. But other than that feels correct. I mean, let's go with Pro. If it's going to be that different. <laughs> Motion wellness. I don't need this. So we're now on the pro, right? Okay. <laughs>
doable, I think. Can we just go to the match? Where's the next? What are the like big differences? No tracking. Well, I mean everything's off. Just to have a full on experience. Okay, just straight up match. Whoever. Why am I so slow? Do we have gears here? Something's not right, let me see. Yeah, there is automatic, but the tutorial did not explain me that at all. Okay. Wow, wow. Well? <laughs> I guess I need to break. Okay, saved. I didn't know superbikes have gears. I don't think I enjoy the steering because I don't know where to place my hands.
Even though the bike would go maybe more mayhem than now, it would just feel somewhat natural. know if the brake works because it's called twisting let me try new but on the rookie settings I hope I will keep up I'll do this out of guidance. Still not enough. This like untwisting brake combination does not work with me. Like I'm twisting and breaking at the same time by just accident. What the? Maybe try with a trigger? Wait, how do I break? With a left one. I want to keep up with them. so fast oh, I like that the wind sound effects are diminished while behind the windshield I think I have much more control now, but that still doesn't seem enough for the difficulty given. But at least I get a hang of the torrents and breaking.
Alright, we'll finish here. Besides the single players and... Yeah, just standard staff. I also don't know why they put me in the US, but okay. With the basics, I think the... Realistic approach is pretty decent. You get a hold of the controls when you kinda accustom to them, but they really are specific to your own capabilities. With mechanics, it seems professionally made. I would still like physically to grab the handles and steer it that way because with floating arms, it's very distracting and I just get confused in what's happening. I do not like the resolution department at least. It's just too low for such basic assets if it's with the environment or even this motorbike like it's even up close flickering at my eyes. Tutorial was fine, although other things unnecessary that prolonged my footage. Overall it keeps it simple. On the track you feel very much immersed and like you're actually there crashing into the banners. Some sequences could be upgraded and then stuff polished out, but at the end of the day it's decent enough as a first professional superbike game.